What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about some Star Wars news as we always do here on the Eternal Sith channel. Before we do get started, though, make sure to hit that subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know on everything Star Wars. Don't forget, I have a membership program and a merch store. And without further ado, let's get into today's topic. Now, Lucasfilm did release a trailer from The Acolyte a couple days ago, or last week, shall I say, and it unveiled something and what seems to be a Sith Lord during the High Republic era. Now, the Jedi of this time believed the Sith had been extinct from millennium now the truth that they had forgotten almost everything about their ancient nemesis all they really knew was that they wielded a red lightsaber now this makes the acolytes new trailer all the more stunning and anonymous now it seems the scales of the balance have been tipped in favor of the dark side which can only mean the sith are at work and they're working heavy any jedi who does encounter this mysterious figure will either not be believed or basically will die before they can even tell their tale now the sith at this time again are a mystery so it's possible that this sith lord could be plagueis behind the mask Palpatine's own master who learned how to conquer death and unwisely passed his secret on to his apprentice Palpatine told Anakin Skywalker the story of Darth Plagueis the Wise and Revenge of the Sith, but canon has yet to flesh out the details. If this is Plagueis indeed, then his power must be phenomenal at this point in time. Alternatively, the Acolyte could feature Darth Tenebris as well, Plagueis' own master. Even less is known about Tenebris in the Star Wars story canon, although he has been confirmed as the designer of the Sith Infiltrator used by Darth Maul in Star Wars' The Phantom Menace. Now, given the Acolyte's status as a prequel to the prequels, it would be very fitting to introduce him in the series. Now, the most exciting comment, though, is the scales that have been shifted when said in the trailer. Now, this directly links to the balance of the Force between the light and the dark, and it suggests that the Sith have somehow secured an advantage on the cosmic scale through unknown means. And if this is the case, Star Wars is the Acolyte could finally be revealing why the Chosen One was needed in the first place. And that's something that they could dive into with this series. But I will say, if this Sith is anybody, I would want it to be these two characters. Because, to be honest, it's what's canon, it's what's known, and I don't want to see a new Dark Side user... They need to start telling the tales of these characters from before the prequel trilogy that are already out, that are already known of, that aren't really much known of, but their names are out there. But guys, let it up in the comment section. Who do you think this dark, mysterious, dark side user is behind the helmet, behind the mask? Is it Darth Plagueis, Darth Tenebris, or could it be a new dark side user that Lucasfilm wants to erase basically George Lucas's stuff and give us new content? Thank you so much for tuning into today's video, guys, for more Star Wars content like this. Make sure to drop a comment down below, hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always aware on everything that I do drop that is daily, and I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video as well.